Good morning. This is a reading for the earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. It may not resonate for everybody, but I think it's extremely telling. <clears throat> so, um, what I, the only thing I've done to her this morning, guys, is, um, the layout's a little bit different today. I added some of my favorite rocks to this. Um, I've got some azurite. I've got some um, crystals here and some amethyst to help um, bring stronger energies in. Some termalite for some grounding. Um, and, of course, I have my angel heart here. Okay. So, this is for the earth signs. Let me tell you all what we got here, guys. So, overall energy, we have the gentle gardener. So, the gentle gardener is talking about what are the quality of your thoughts. Okay. You know, sometimes we get stuck in a rut and we get into that negative stinking thinking. The gentle gardener is reminding you to keep your thoughts positive. And guys, I think we all fall into that rut, you know, at times where something happens and you're like, oh man, now I don't have enough money left till payday. Or, oh man, I, my best friend, I just found out something happened to their dog, you know, and then you kind of dwell on it for a bit. What kind of thoughts are you having? Okay. Is what the gentle gardener is asking. The more positive your thoughts, the more positive energy comes in you because the universe sees everything. No matter what happens with you, if you keep your thoughts more pure, okay, you bring more positive abundance, light, love, all the positive things into your life. And because you co-create with the universe, the universe always wants you to be happy. Somebody said one time, whatever you ask God, the answer is always yes. So am I going to, am I going to ever be, am I, am I ever going to get out of this, or am I ever going to get out of um, this crappy job and get a better job? Yes. Um, is, is this, is this, am I, um, um, this person that I'm with, is this person ever going to, um, um, you know, if, is this person going to keep lying to me and being a bad person to me? Uh, God says, yes. <laughs> you know, so I always think about your, how you want to ask things, how you want to do things that give you a more positive answer. Try to think more positive thoughts. Because thinking negative thoughts, you know, and I know it's really hard. Guys, write it down on a piece of paper and burn it, okay? Because you do deserve the best. We all deserve the best. And your path is not like everybody else's. So just keep that in mind, okay? And then we have a 30 card here. We've got the making a choice. So at this time, the universe is asking you to come to some kind of decision right now, okay? So guys, what do you want to choose? Do you want to choose more empowerment, more love and light and more good things in your life? I know I do. So if something's going on right now and you're faced with two different decisions, what is the most positive one for you? Okay. Sometimes we have to let go of past decisions or past people, places, things to have more positivity into our life. Guys, choose the good thing. Choose the thing that's going to bring you more happiness. Okay. So then I pulled the runes. And what I got here was we got, we got Thurius first off. You have gone through some kind of a portal. Now, rather, this is before you, you make this choice or after. Okay, it's going to depend on when you decide to make this choice, I think. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm wanting to choose the good. Do you want to choose the good? Go through this portal to say yes to yourself. Because you're coming into a time of, of going from the microchism to the macrochism. And guys, that's always evolving evolution revolution um becoming more powerful but sometimes to do that you have to cut away the old so make the choice to cut away the old okay then we have isa which can be a temporary halting okay but it's also spiritual attainment so maybe you're going to learn a lesson through all this maybe there's something that you weren't seeing that when you make this choice when you when you contemplate on it think about it and you make the better choice for yourself, you suddenly have an aha moment. Oh, okay, now I see what was holding me back. And you know, guys, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you suddenly get clarity on seeing what's holding you back. And by letting go of maybe that really negative friend or walking away from that negative job, you get that aha moment, you know, because you walk away feeling lighter, right? You know how every time you let something go or you decide, you know, even if it bothers you for a while, once you come to clarity of mind and make the better choice for yourself, we all have those little aha moments. So I feel like a lot of you are going to do that. Because then we have Ewas, which is talking about defense, walking away, moving into the future. Okay? And I feel like a lot of us are going to be doing that. Or a lot of the, the or signs are going to be doing that. Because you're listening to your spirit guides. You're listening to your, to your angels. You're listening to, you're listening to your intuition. 
maybe your angels and your spirit guides are part of that. If you meditate on a regular basis, it's a lot easier sometimes to hear the messages come in. Okay. And I think a lot of people are starting to do that. That that we're that we're grounding ourselves, meditating, that we're trying to make better choices for ourselves, even if it feels like at the time or for right now, that's not happening. Okay? Because you need to do that meditating. You need to do that um letting go of things that just are not serving you anymore. And so then today I've I've pulled six of the um Native Spirit Deck by Denise Lynn. And guys, the first thing I get is Medicine Bag, okay, which is going right along with this, okay? Medicine Bag is talking about gathering your resources. What fun, what things do you find help you to make better choices for yourselves? Um, so your Medicine Bag can include actual real things, like maybe you have a lucky rock. Maybe you have um, a letter from a passed on loved one that you carry with you. Or maybe you have um, a picture of somebody. Or maybe you have, um, you know, something that you've, that, that means something sentimental to you. Like maybe over the years you've, you've collected, you know, maybe a favorite book. Maybe um, you've carried, um, like I used to collect bells. Maybe you have a favorite bell. Maybe you have a favorite uh, picture of an animal. Maybe you have um, something that a grandmother or a loved one gave you. Something that you consider that helps you to focus. Maybe you have a collection of your rocks that you carry with you. Guys, I used to carry a little pouch just like this. And what I carry in it? My rocks. <laughs> I used to get teased about it. But to me, that was my center. That was what I felt like helped me to focus because I am ADHD. So what helps you to focus? What do you feel like is a, what do you feel like is a resource for you? You know, is it something that someone gave you? Is it a memory that you can write down on a piece of paper and, and, and or a picture? What is it that you consider a resource? Okay, so gather up your resources, all right? So then the next thing we have is we have the Sacred Mountain. The Sacred Mountain is talking about locating your internal power. What, you know, don't move forward until you discover your own truth. What is it that you need clarity of mind about? Um, what makes you feel like a better, stronger person every day? Is it the way you get up in the morning and the, 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 the med meditations or the phone calls you make, you know, is it, um, going to the job where you're, you feel like you're helping people or is it, um, the prayers that you do every night before you go to bed? What makes you feel, what, what is your truth? What is your power that makes you feel like you're the person you're meant to be? You know, is it having that phone call once a month where you call maybe a favorite aunt or your mom? Maybe you call your mom once a week. Guys, I talk to my mom. My mom has been gone a long time, but I talk to her every day. Okay. And I've had more than one spouse over the years tell me, you know, you woke up saying, thanks, mom. Okay, mom. Guys, I still do it. I've already had Daniel tell me twice this week. Okay. You woke up saying, okay, mom. So I talk to my mom in the, on the, on the astral level. I don't remember them, but to me. She helps to me in some ways keep me very grounded. Do you have a, have someone that you talk to or you you say, well, if they're over here, what would I do now? You know, what is the truth for you? You know what I'm saying? What kind of truth makes you feel or what kind of truth in, is internal for you that if you feel like is a source of your own personal power? You know, that makes you able to feel like you can stand up to anything negative the world throws your way. Maybe um, you've got someone at work. Guys, my ears going off. Glory's been just talking to me this morning. Maybe you have someone at work that every time you see them, you just automatically feel like you have to put a shield around yourself because they're toxic. You know, and sometimes, guys, it's hard to get toxic people out of our lives, especially, you know, if you have no control over the situation. But what is your truth? What is your truth that makes you, that is the source of your internal power? Okay, figure out what that is. Okay, guys, and then we have the, the sweat lodge. And this card is making me feel like, you know, this is a time to let go of any impurities. Like, maybe you need to clean up your house. Maybe you need to um, do some um, heavy-duty meditations. Maybe you need to um, 
let go of something or or a thought pattern or um, something that you do every day that you know isn't good. Like maybe you smoke cigarettes and you figure, I need to quit smoking now. It's time. The universe is telling me it's time. What is it you feel like you need to get rid of? Okay. What kind of things no longer have a place in your life? Like maybe all your life you've um, been around certain people that family members that now you just find that you don't talk to them as much anymore and you feel better all the time. Maybe you were around someone that was a psychic vampire. You know, every time you got around one person, you were like drained every time you saw them. And now you go, you know, I think it's time for me to cut off my relationship with this person. What is it you feel like you need to cut out of your life that's going to help you to live a better life? You know, let go of what no longer serves you guys. Rather, it's a person, a place, a thing. Maybe you have a, a part-time job that you may, you know, maybe this job isn't where I need to be anymore. Maybe I need to find another part-time job that I like better. Or maybe you've hung on to some old clothes that remind you of certain times and places and you don't realize they you, you've held on to them for sentimental value. And you look at them and you go, well, you know, I hung on to this because Aunt Mary gave it to me. But Aunt Mary's been gone for 10 years. I don't need this shirt anymore. Get rid of it. You know, make way. The more things you get rid of, guys... Okay, look, you see how there's, look, guys, they're pointing, they're pointing this out. You see this star, this falling star here? Anything that you release and let go of, it makes room for new energy, new people, places, items, maybe even a pet. Maybe you haven't had a pet for a long time and you've been mourning one and you, you decide, okay, it's time for that, that pet to rest in peace. And boom, here comes another pet. Someone brings you a, surprises you with a puppy. Someone surprises you with a pet rat. Guys, I don't know about you. My, my son had rats when we, when he was young, so I don't have no fear of rats. Maybe um, a goldfish, you know, whatever. Let go of something that's no longer serving you for new energy to come in. Okay, guys, I think somebody needs to hear that. Okay? And if you've made any New Year's resolutions, I've been hearing it said recently that instead of saying, oh, well, I want to lose weight or I want to lose this or I want to lose that or I don't want to do this anymore. How about saying, well, for New Year resolution, I want to bring in more peace or I want to bring in um, a new pet or I want to bring in um, I want to start saving a little bit more money. I have a goal now. I'm going to start saving five extra dollars a week out of my paycheck. Some kind of goal that makes you feel like you're actually moving ahead through letting something else go. OK, guys, take that how it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. All right. So then we have the smudging ceremony. And again, guys, it's talking about letting the past go. Detoxify your space. Detoxify yourself. And when you do that, again, you're going to find more positive energy comes flowing in. Um, me personally, I like to use my, um, and actually I've got it right there. One of them has, I use my own blend of incense, guys. You can order them from Isis Books. I've heard me talk about that before. This one has frankincense, myrrh, and sandalwood and a little bit of lavender in it. This one has just frankincense and myrrh, okay? And guys, they actually smell really good. You just you get you can order the online um, online herbs from Isis Books. You can also order the special charcoals, okay, to to smudge your area, okay, guys. So when you do this smudging, do the little smudging ceremony for your place. Maybe even smudge, do a smudging ceremony for your car, okay. You become a clear channel for the light. You become more open to messages from your spirit guides and your angels wanting to come in so that you can heal, okay? So that you can clear out anything that's no longer meant to be in your life. This way you're able to heal and you're able to help many people, okay? So become clear. Do a lot of cleansing, rather it's your space, rather it's um, people in your life or a, passion, a job or whatever it is that you need to clean up and let go of. They're just saying that you do that. And when you do that, they're saying then everything starts falling into place because we have that with the flowing river. You guys, look at that light in that picture. Is that not beautiful? And you see this as things start, as you let go of things and start to move down and this, and this en new energy opens up, you start having new things come in your life. They're pointing this, they're pointing out the, the birds on this picture and birds are messengers. So this to me is saying that as you do all this cleansing and letting go of all these things that no longer serve you, that you bring in lots of more opportunities. You bring in a lot more light they're also telling me that somebody who starts meditating on a regular basis, see this magenta light here, guys, they're saying someone, you're going to become more spiritual, more things will be falling into place, and you're going to become the leader that you're meant to become, 
okay? Because the next the next card that we have is now you are becoming an elder. Now is when you start having more confidence. Again, see that light coming in? And this is someone standing still to accept this new, maybe new, new energy coming in, a new path coming in, that you now become the teacher, leader, healer that you're meant to be. Guys, I've been picking up on a lot of earth energy. I've been going out um, inside, out into the woods here lately that are around us here. And they're talking about finding out what your true power is. And that you have deep inner wisdom in you. And then when you do all this clearing out, you find it. It starts to speak to you. Okay? You become a teacher. You open up a path to help others. Okay? You become a beacon for other people. All right? And guys, I think that's really important. I think so many of us are starting to go into that with this... Um, with everything moving forward. And so then I put, decided to pull two regular tarot cards. Guys are saying they gave us the world and they gave us the temperance card. So guys, this is, when you do this, this is no longer living your life the way you have been. You are now becoming a leader, a teacher, an elder going into the future. And Archangel Michael is going to help put those things into place for you. Okay. He's going to come in to give you more, more flow, more balance because you let go of all this. Okay, and guys, I, me for one, and I, because I'm a Virgo, well, I'm a Leo Virgo cusp, guys, I have been, um, I ordered some more charcoal blocks, I have been cleansing out our space on a daily basis, um, you know, you can burn your own special incense, you can sprinkle salt all around your space, be careful if you have animals, especially if you have cats, cat, well, cats and dogs both lick themselves, um, open up your windows, even if it's the dead of winter, to let some new air come in, to circulate, okay? Because things are going to be ending for you because you are becoming this leader. You are becoming this elder, okay? And whatever you learn, whatever is, sometimes we teach the things that we most need to learn ourselves. And guys, I'm finding this to be true with myself as well. So what is it you want to, what is it that you feel like is ending after you do this, going into the future that, that Archangel Michael is coming to help you with? You could also do a prayer to Archangel Michael. You could light a candle, meditate and ask and literally say out loud, Archangel Michael, I invite you to come in and help me clear out and find my true path so I can become this elder, leader, teacher or mystic, seer, whatever I'm supposed to do. You could do that. You can do candle meditations for yourself. You can listen to guided meditations. You can burn the incense. You can do salt. And guys, if you're pagan minded, you know, there's a thousand and one spell books out there or make up your own, you know, write down everything you need to get rid of on a piece of paper, burn it, throw the ashes to the wind, write down something, put it in a little bottle with um, dirt, with some, a uh, little bit of, of earth and a little bottle with a lid on it to ground it all out and to help break it from your life. Okay. So, guys, that's what I have for the Earth signs today. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I hope this was able to help somebody. And, guys, all of us have the potential to become elders. Until next time.